Rubella, which is also known as German measles, is a contagious viral infection caused by rubella virus. The virus causes a mild rash-like disease in early childhood or adult life, at which point it is called postnatal rubella. In pregnancy, however, infection with the virus could lead to the infection of the developing fetus due to the transplacental transmission of the virus from the pregnant mother to the developing baby. Unlike those of postnatal rubella disease, the clinical manifestations of congenitally acquired rubella are quite severe. The fetus is at risk of developing malformations of the eye, ear, and heart. And following the large pandemic of 1962 to 1965, a much broader range of rubella-induced congenital anomalies were observed and grouped into three categories, which include signs and symptoms which are transiently apparent in affected infants, permanent manifestations which can be observed within the first year of life, and manifestations which are delayed in onset until later in life. Now I must bring to your attention that a vaccine is available and has been since 1969. The vaccine is available as a single antigen or combined with measles and mumps vaccine. In fact, rubella used to be endemic all around the world. However, due to the introduction of a comprehensive vaccination program in industrialized areas of the world, such as Australia, Europe, Japan, and North America, the occurrence of the disease in those areas have been reduced to low levels. This brings us to the root of the problem and the motive behind this study. Vaccination is not being carried out in many developing countries of the world, Nigeria included. Because of this, a large percentage of the world's population is still being infected naturally and is susceptible to rubella. Because 25 to 50 percent of cases are asymptomatic, most cases go undiagnosed and serology remains the best method of diagnosis. So, in order to gather epidemiological data on the occurrence of rubella in northern Nigeria, a cross-sectional study to detect antibodies to rubella virus was carried out on pregnant and non-pregnant women. Antibodies to rubella virus can only be detected in people who have previously been infected with the virus whether recently or not, depending on the type of antibodies detected. The study showed that a large percentage of the pregnant and non-pregnant women had antibodies to rubella virus. This indicates high prevalence and predisposes the babies of the pregnant women and even those of the non-pregnant women should any one of them become pregnant during that period to congenital rubella syndrome. This brings us to what can be done. What can be done is for a national rubella vaccination program to be introduced in Nigeria. The introduction of rubella vaccine will not increase the number of vaccines mothers will have to ensure that their children take. Measles vaccine is already very popular here and in wide distribution. All that will have to be done is to replace the single measles vaccine with a combined measles, mumps and rubella vaccine which will solve three problems in one. We also advise that research on rubella be carried out in other developing countries so as to sensitize the healthcare providers and administrators in those countries. Thank you.